I I started uh, I started uh, DMing Bert Kreischer. Uh, I've done oh, it two days in a row now. <laughs> oh boy! I'm, I'm <laughs> oh going boy. to get him to sign. <laughs> I'm going to get him to sign my hat, and then I'm going to get him to have to have Tom sign it. I hope I hope it works out. Yeah, yeah. He's, they're gonna be talking about him on their show. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm trying this. This says it is immune support and mental boost. It's Mountain Dew Rise, pomegranate and blue burst. You know what you should do? I bet you it tastes better than my nutsack. Oh, but yeah. worse than well, anything else that you enjoy. I bet it tastes uh, like shit. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you should take a sip of it and then see if you can say South Dakota. <laughs> okay, we'll try, we'll get that a whirl because he couldn't earlier. Yeah, it says it's right, like it, this. Drinking this whole thing is like drinking two cups of coffee. What's the smell? What's the smell? Blue. Mm. Smells blue. Yeah. Is it really? Is it really blue though? Can you tell? Yeah, it is really blue. I can see some on the rim. Mm. Okay. Just like last Bad. night. You gonna give that thing a rim job? Kind of just tastes like Blue Mountain Dew. Yeah, huh. could be worse. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like it. Eh, it's all right. Probably won't finish it to be honest. I'd prefer no. I'd prefer a Red Bull to be honest. I have one in my. I was, gonna go, uh, I was gonna go to a different QT this morning and get you a C4, and I forgot. Oh, you mother! Yeah, our QT is out of cotton candy C4 again. It's like that's like the new thing. They're just out of it all the time now. Assholes. Just order them on Amazon. A 24 pack. He's not. No, fuck him. That's actually a pretty good idea. I, can, I, I need to listen to that. This the, in the, the long run. This is the guy that fucking didn't order anything from Amazon a year ago. That's update? not true. It's okay. like four years ago. It wasn't four years ago. Where's this coming? From? Oh, it, Hess. It, it was, yeah. It, I was like, what do you mean? I've heard stuff from Amazon before. <laughs> how, how long has Destiny been out? Because that's when I've got oh. involved. Destiny, oh, the, the, the first Destiny or Destiny Two? Either one. Well, the, uh, that's pretty different answers. Let me, let me Google it because I don't know. I don't know yeah. off the top of my head. Let's see. I mean, it's it's more recent than most people that have used Amazon. Yeah. Destiny Two release date. It's been a while then. Uh, Destiny 2 came out September 6, 2017. Yeah, 2017 isn't that bad of a year to start using Amazon. I think that's pretty reasonable. Really? Yeah. Let me the, Actually, let me see. When did Amazon start? I'm going to Google that next. I used to get DVDs. I guess, I guess we're starting the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, might as well. It's your cold open. Marcus start. Welby. Hi, I'm Hess. I'm, and I'm Nick. I'm Jerome Rummy Rum, think. Uh, okay, Amazon started July 5th, 1994. In Bellevue, Washington, I think. Yeah, oh, but they so weren't it, shipping packages. So, in 1994, he started in 2017. I don't think that's that crazy. I mean, I used Amazon pre 2000. Oh, look at this. Really? Look at this fucking. Oh, yeah. Guy. I haven't used Amazon. They had, you, you could order a DVD and the fucking shit to get here before it came out. I used it before it was even cool. I'm Nick. I never. Uh, yeah, I. That's all I used. You order DVDs and Hess's over there, like. Hate it. Yeah, I ordered not another teen movie. And he's like, oh, can I borrow that? <laughs> Now, <laughs> Sonny hates it. Here's my brother. I'm ask you to borrow that movie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys go every night, you get texts. You know, you get drunk and you're like, you know, actually, another teen movie's not that bad. I know. I, that, that we, uh, Nick, me, we, well. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? You did a beat bop. Beat doop, the beat bop. I'm just going to stop talking. You should put that behind oh, music. <laughs> That'd be perfect behind music. It was like you're having eight conversations at once. <laughs> well, what were you, you going to say about you and Nick? I was just going to say, it reminds me of the old days when uh, like I would, uh, Nick would get off work, like cl- closing, and he'd be like, I uh, just uh, grab a 40. You, you, you playing? You want to play? Oh, uh, yeah. Get a 40 uh, and play Call of Duty. That was like his nightly thing. Yeah, that was good for my KD. Yeah. You and has to be playing. He'd be like, "You ain't wanting to fuck with me, baby." And, and what? what <laughs> Why he's I sitting on the toilet? <laughs> what would I normally be drinking? Probably chocolate milk. I don't know. Doctor <laughs> Pepper. Uh, I do remember one time we must have been both off or something. You're like, I think it was Call of Duty. Could have been Madden, but I think it was Call of Duty. You're like, I'm ready to play. I got my Doctor Pepper, and I got a bag of peanut butter M and M's. <laughs> yeah. But but I think I had a bag of peanut peanut butter M and M's also. Oh this. god! Can I, you imagine what those comms sounded like? <laughs> I got a UAV. I'm like, Hess, where are you? I'm on the I'm on the toilet. I got four kills. <laughs> I gotta get sitting on the toilet. On here for Hess. Uh... <laughs> 
What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings, the best podcast you've ever heard from a couple of white folks. <laughs> couple of white folks. <laughs> I'm Jerome. I'm Nick. Which one of us isn't white? Because it's couples two. Well, has this half black? <laughs> has this half black? And all growing up, people thought I was black, so does that count? Mm, no. Mm, that's unfortunate. You had curly and... hair and a black name. Exactly. I'm halfway there. Mm. <laughs> You're halfway to be in Jew, too. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, oh, I'm half. Speaking of Jew. Go re- I got to go get a refill of chocolate milk. I'll be right back. Okay, well, that's perfect. I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, did you one of you watch uh, our Ant-Man video that came out today? No. No, it just came out like an hour ago. It was two hours ago, but whatever. Um, Why are you talking like that? You know, you remember how Hass made a joke that we had to cut out? Yeah. It- you know what? They all run I, together. I cut out the audio of it and blurred out his mouth <laughs> but it, because it was so funny, our reaction. But I wanted to see if you saw that. It was uh, like, you, you motherfucker, you love, but like, you can't, you can, you, if you are smart, you have context and you can tell what he's joking about. Mm-hmm. But if you're just an oh, average watcher. I, I, you don't remember what it was? No. You don't remember I, what it was? Mm-mm. Helicopter. Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Next time we play Warzone and I'm driving, I'll show you. <laughs> I, show I, I, I showed him a tick, show I showed him a TikTok a TikTok of that of someone doing that in Warzone to their buddy and they're I'm just gonna say they dropped a chopper and went Kobe yeah and I showed it to him and he goes wow that's fucked up and I was like well I yeah. thought it was pretty funny I don't even like Kobe and it's fucked up <laughs> yeah pretty funny nah, huh? I think maybe now I mean if it wasn't a dead little girl it'd be really funny uh today we're talking about no <laughs> con- more than one dead little girl it was like. A bunch of them. Oh, okay. So it was like 17 dead I girls. Wasn't, I, wasn't no, keep, you I wasn't keeping count of all the dead girls. No, there was, uh, well, there was a couple. He's right. But today we're talking about no country for old men. But first, fucking, we got to do a Twitter poll. Julie fuck, Chen over there. get our next movie set up. So then we can ride oh, yeah. right into the... Now, no a, country. I'm picking a movie. Old oh. men. Sorry, I was doing my little... That was the intro. I'm picking a movie that I know is not going to get any votes. I just why you say this all, I'm gonna pick this movie and not because it's gonna get picked but because I want I just want to go with it. No, well, I would I would watch it, but I don't think either one of you two will, and I don't think other people. Is will it watch. what I think it is? Uh, yeah, mm. I want I want you to, I want you to go first because I might pick this movie. If you guys both pick this movie, I'm walking off this set, and you guys are talking <laughs> about this by yourselves. That's there, not true. I, I, no, go ahead. I want yeah. Uh but it, there's, it, two, there's, two movie movies that I, there's two movies that I want to pick. Was this movie made in the 90s? Yes. So is mine. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I have two that I want to pick, too. But, there's but two. Does yours happen to be three hours long, Hess? I, I don't know. I, I there's a director's cut. <sighs> um, well, I'm, get, I'm getting really nervous. No, don't look, don't look shit up. So, all right. Let's just go with it. But I was gonna, what I was going to say was these other two that are also made in the 90s, so these could be one of them. If, if you... Pick one of those. I'm voting for you for sure. But go ahead. Okay. No, you were first. He said. Oh, JFK. Oh yeah, I wasn't picking that. Oh, either. thank God. <laughs> Whew. Whew, okay. Because the the yeah. whole time I've been watching that going. Hate it. He's never even seen the motherfucker. Don't need. To. I'm actually I'm actually picking LBJ. Let me be Johnson. No, you're not. No, I'm picking Natural Born Killers. I, oh really? That's one of the. That's two. a good one. That's that, one of the two. That's gonna win. I can already tell you right now. But the other one I was thinking about was White Men Can't Jump. That's I, a, that, that that was my other one. That was my other one. That's a true. really good Natural Born Killers. I've been wanting to Natural watch Born that too. Natural Born Killers and White Men Can't. Well, you know, it's directed by the same guy that did JFK. You little bitch. I don't care. People make bad movies all the time. Not all of Kevin Smith movies are good, but I still love them. Wow. Yeah. I'm picking Batman Forever. With oh, we didn't say our actors. With uh, Tommy Lee Jones for me. Obviously, Woody Harrelson for him. Or Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. And then who for or you? Or Tommy. Tommy Lee Jones, but Tommy Lee Jones is in Natural Born Killers, too. Oh, they're both in that, too? Yeah. But, yeah, I'm picking Batman Forever, because I, as soon as I heard Tommy Lee Jones' voice, I was like, oh, I gotta pick that. I love Batman Forever. It's got him, Jim Carrey in it. Uh, isn't, who's the, ah, oh, fuck. Who's the Batman in that? Is Val is it, Kilmer. Is Val it? Kilmer? I think so. And then you also get NCIS Boy. Hmm. But, uh, so what are some good hashtags? I already got hashtag Batman. Hashtag. Hashtag 11. I mean, last time he had me put hashtag Jesse Plum Dog Millionaire and hashtag show me your tits. Has- yeah. Hashtag 11. 
2263. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell you some trending topics right now on okay. Twitter. Oh, I never, I never retweeted Ant Man. Dick. Hashtag active shooter. That's in Colorado. Well, I don't think I'm going to go with that one, so <laughs> that one might be bad. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. He's, sometimes he just talks. Uh, this is over there. You've got to try Jesus. this poll. <laughs> it's a funny joke. <laughs> well, hashtag that'll be on the fucking thing next week. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag. Has his apology next week. It's a funny hashtag. joke. Hashtag what? March Madness. Okay. Are you guys watching that on uh, Paramount Plus? No. No, I'm not. I'm watching it on my just regular cable subscription. Wow, look at him. He's all fancy. Is that fancy? <sighs> I don't know. Okay. Anything else? Like a hashtag well, Batman, hashtag 11, which you can't do 11 because you can't put numbers in a hashtag apparently. Oh. Mm. So I need, I'm going to put hashtag uh, dead president. What What was I watching? We're, me and Abby were Oops. watching something. <laughs> It might. Oh, I think it was a TikTok, and it was like a t- tattoo artist. It was like a female tattoo artist, and she was like, "They were like, what's like the like most embarrassing thing that like tattoo you've ever given or something like that?" And she was like, "Well, she's like this guy came in, and she wanted to get he wanted to get Pinocchio, and the Pinocchio's nose oh was going to be his dick." And she and she was like, she was like, at first I said I wasn't going to do it, and she's like, but then I realized I'm a professional, like. um and I'm I'm gonna do it. And she goes, thankfully, he didn't tell any lies while I was giving him his tattoo. Yeah. Oh my god! I was gonna say, but when tattooing a penis, I feel like that's kind of dangerous because if you get hard while she's tattooing, it's not. Or would you have to? Would, just, would you have to be it, hard when she tattoos, or would you have to be soft when she tattoos it? No, it's just like his face was above his dick. So like when his dick oh. hard, it looked like so there's no actual like, tattoo. He no. She didn't make his his penis look like wood. No. Oh, okay. Was well, it, was that I a don't pun? know. But I'm not, it didn't seem that way. Before I make this poll go live, I want to see if there's penis tattoos. Oh my God. You should just pop that poll on live. Okay, yeah, I'll pop, uh, the poll's live. Oh, fuck. I put hashtag Hess has a bug pee-pee. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God <Dude>. damn it. Fucking <laughs> douche. <sighs> and you put natural not killer. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus Christ! <laughs> fucking ding dong over here. I I voted. Didn't even notice. That. <laughs> I didn't either. That's why you gotta stop talking to him when he's fucking doing the ball. Uh, you can't do two things at once. Not JFK. <laughs> well, if that's this movie doesn't get picked, we'll know why. Because they'll be like, "What movie is that?" <laughs> It would be funny if JFK <laughs> won that to fuck it up. Oh, my God. I'm going to respond to that saying natural born killer. Born killers. Killers. Oh, wait. So who did, who did you pick for this? I guess that matters. If uh, we... Yeah, I guess it does. Uh, Woody. Well, who, Tommy Lee. Who's in it, right? Is Tommy, Lee in it? <laughs> Tommy Lee's in it, I believe. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> well, I, I, know, I know there's multiple people in it. There's more than one person uh, in the movie, correct? Yeah, I know that, but is Tommy Lee Jones in this movie? Yes. In, in natural, na- Oh, Natural, natural Born? Born? He said he's in Natural Born, yeah. But did you pick it because of Woody Harrelson? He picked it because yeah. of Woody. But I'm, I'm going to change it to Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> so we can pick Because I want to keep Woody Harrelson on uh, the table. I liked and retweeted it from Plika as well. The Natural Born Killers with a little star above it, so hopefully that helps if anybody else is voting. Oof. Is your little boy going to play today? His pee He might, yeah. Eat their home, so yeah. I got, a better, I got a real drink. Just that like, gives us the ability to go play Resurgence, so that's the only reason I'm asking. Is it quaddies now? Yeah. Yeah. We, can play, we win on quads anyways. We're bad motherfuckers over here, aren't we? All right. <clears throat> Let me move my notes back over. Who's a bad motherfucker? All right. Watch uh, your mouth. So as we start, usually, uh, well, first, do we want to go into initial thoughts or do we want to go straight into what would we change? Let's do initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. Who wants to go first? Well, I, this is my first time seeing it. Is this the first time for anybody else? Are you guys both already seen it? I've seen it, but I've it's already, been fucking years. It. It, it, it's been a while for me, too. Oh, okay. You go, you go first. You picked it, actually. Well, I picked it because it was a Coen Brother movie, mm-hmm. which I thought was clear. It wasn't clear to me. Uh, about an hour and a half into the movie, I go, I have to look up if the Coen Brothers made this, because this is like a Fargo remake. 
And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, it was them. Okay. It, it is a lot like Fargo, which I don't know if I would have put together unless you told me. But mm. maybe. It was, it's the, the money and all that shit and the guys running around. I was like, this same, seems a lot like it. Same case. And then watching it too, I was like, I can see this being a series. I thought that too. I was like, like oh, they could just Fargo? Do, yeah, instead of like in Minnesota, you just do it in Texas. Cause yeah, it was, fucking... it was like a city Fargo, kind of. I liked it. Um, <clears throat> I thought Tommy Lee Jones died, but I was completely, so I completely made that up. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like when he went in that room, I was like, does he kill him here? It did he... seem like a setup for him to die. I, or does he, they, do they kill him later? And then he never did die. He quit. So, yeah. but, but I, I liked it. You know what I almost picked? Hmm. Do you know who his brother is in the movie? Yeah. He's from Dukes of Hazard, so I almost picked Dukes of Hazard. Oh. Uh, We'd had uh, Sean William Scott yeah, and Johnny Knoxville. Like a million fucking he's the one that, in the opening, he's the one that's chasing him down because Johnny Knoxville was sleeping with his daughter and he was shooting shotguns at him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So but I, almost, but I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I looked it up, won four Academy Awards. I could see that. You know, it, it was really good. Um, different. Um, I, I loved the movie mm-hmm. until a certain point, and then I hated it and thought it was stupid. Till when? Until until the very end, and I thought oh, okay. I hate. You're watching the whole movie. Mm-hmm. It's fun. You're seeing these two guys. This, apparently, this is the most accurate representation of a psychopath. The the guy I that, read the that guy too. looks like Hess in sort of picture here. Yeah. Um. It was all fun, and then yeah, one checks off from a beer, and I was like, oh cool, where's this going? Blah, blah blah. At the end, and then he's just dead. And then they, he just goes to the house, and you don't know if he kills the wife either. And then Tommy Lee Jones quits, and then the movie he get the guy gets in a car crash and walks away, and the movie's over. Uh, he yeah. killed. He killed the wife. I assume so, yeah. but he. And, but fucking Josh Brolin's just I, dead. I know. I don't know why they didn't show him get killed. Like, I was that I, right there. I was like, okay, this movie's dumb. I don't like it anymore. Really? Yeah, that turned me off to a big time. Because they didn't show him die. Just because, it, like, e- even if you just saw a little bit of a sh- like, you, there was just nothing. The, the, the little mom snitched on him by accident. The annoying mom. I almost picked her. And then he's just dead. Do you know who she is? I know she's yeah, in she's, stuff, but I couldn't. I couldn't she's tell why. In uh, I Tanya, right? No. Oh, is she? You're thinking. She you're was. thinking of someone else. Um, she's, the mom? No, 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 no. That's Al. That's I can't think of her name. Allison something. Something. Janie. Allison Janie. Yeah. She's uh, in, yeah, she is in I. That that's the one in I Tanya. I was thinking. Of. Um, she's the girl in Speed. I just watched it. That. She tries to get off the bus and then they blow it up and she gets fucking ran over. Uh, I, got, tower, I feel like she's in the other stuff, but I don't, I don't want to look her up right now. But yeah, no, I, I, I really, really enjoyed the movie up until that point, and then I was like, ugh, this is kind of lame. Uh, it, it did. I was surprised they didn't show, but they also didn't show Woody Harrelson really die. They show, it was off. Well, but you were in the room. Like, if any, if it was like that, I'd been okay with it. It was just we, really weird decision to me to be like. You're following this guy the whole movie. They they cut to something else, and when they cut back, he's just laying in his hotel room dead. Like he's so intricate with everything he's planning. You see him build a shotgun, everything he's doing. Yeah. And then he's just dead. On a, in well, the, and the then room. that guy didn't even kill him, did he? It was the other. No, guy. it was those. It was those Mexican dudes. Yeah, it was just like because they're luck driving out. away in the truck. Yeah. His luck ran out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I still enjoyed it, but like, I loved it. And, and so so basically, like, because how long is it? It's like two hours and just, two, two just, and a half hours or something. No, it's just over two. Two, two hours and two minutes. So like yeah. the last fifteen minutes, I was in here like you motherfucker. But every other point, like I was they, like, oh they, my god, oh, that's funny. To me, it seemed like they kind of rushed it. The end, like they didn't yeah. want it to go over a certain amount of time. I, I, I can but, I can see that. Like, so like the Mexicans that killed Josh Brolin, uh, or Lou Allen. <laughs> Did you Lou just say Allen? Mexicans in quotes? <laughs> Well, I mean, Mexicans. You, you never know. Yeah, they could. They could have been like Filipino or something. But so they were like, Nicaraguan. Were they, were they just, <laughs> Excuse I mean, me. Did, did they? <laughs> were they hunt? Were they hunting the money too? Or yeah, that or, part kind of confused me. Where did they come from? Like, did they just rob that hotel room? Like, what? Like, I you know think. What I, mean? I think uh, the dude from Barry that he shot in the face. Oh, got them involved. I think he gave multiple people. Oh, okay. So the location. Like, that's why that guy was pissed. See, that's why I, if I just get more information too, it could have made that a little more interesting and better. Cause, cause but it was just I, out I of looked, the blue. Because when I looked this up, like one of the main questions on Google is who killed Roger Josh Rabbit Bolin oh. in No Country for Old Men. Right, I can like, see. Like, I, I can see that 100. percent Because that that part really threw me off. I thought when Tommy Lee Jones went in there, I, don't, I apparently I like Tommy Lee Jones a lot. Wait, that, that part too, I was like, oh, he's going to get killed. Oh my God, I want to see He's sitting guy. in the bed and he looks over at the screws and I was like, this would be the perfect time for the... Pew. That's a, isn't that... That shotgun's fake, right? Isn't that... Haven't they come they, out they, like that's not real? They had it made for the movie. And now yeah. they have like it's silencers a, it, It's for pretty it. cool. The cattle 
prod thing was the it's catapult. Not thing, it's not a prod. The catapult thing was cool, but then by like the fifteenth time he bust open a door with it, I was like, I get it. <laughs> you how do much, that to doors. How much do you think it hurt when that lock hit fucking Josh Brown? Oh, but it knocked the wind out of him. Yeah, because he seemed like so surprised, and then jumped out the window and got shot in the leg. Yeah, but I, I loved all that stuff because I I started it and I was like, I'll probably watch an hour of this and I'll finish it the next day because I wasn't too sure. I, I knew nothing about the movie. And then I finished the whole thing in the night, but then by the end I was like, you, you little buttholes. Well, are you Taylor's watching a video? But you uh, can't okay. hear it. Okay. Uh, I just I thought someone was screaming. <laughs> I literally did. I thought maybe Phoebe was screaming or something. So it's being murdered in the other room. Yeah, no, I feel like ass. <laughs> the, this this is based off of a book, right? I did see that at the end. I noticed that yeah. based off a book, and from what I read, it's like. Is it very different? I was going to no, Google it's, the difference. No, it's very similar. It's almost oh. exactly the same. So maybe that's why they did it that way. Maybe he just all of a sudden, you turn the page and he's dead. Maybe. It's fucking gone, girl. Uh, but So is there anything you well, guys would change? And, uh, well, and then, oh, you go I mean, first. Uh, one, la- one last thing, and then we'll switch over. But, like, <clears throat> I know I know it's a movie or whatever, and it's based off of a novel or whatever. But, like, if he didn't go back to take that guy water, <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like you know what I mean? Well, except it's out of the transmitter, so he had been fucked anyways. Yeah, but oh, you, had to get, you had to get close to it, though, for it to start going off. That motherfucker would have found him. He would have drove around the fucking city. That's true. I yeah. did, I really liked him, though, although the whole but, time but, watching but, it, but, I was thinking, <laughs> wouldn't it be really cool? Like, Because watching how the guy was acting, I was like, I can just see like if they did this now, Adam Driver playing that role. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. And I was I, like, that would be really good. You know, Heath or, Ledger was going to do it. Oh, really? And then he, oh. he ended up not doing it and then doing Joker the Almost the same year. Oh, uh, but I did. I did see this is supposed to be the most accurate representation of a psychopath in any. Film. I would think it. I think it. I would agree with that. I mean, Jesus Christ! I like. I like. like my, doctors my, like watched 126 movies or something and picked yeah. it. Yeah. I, I really like the change part when he does it to the guy and he keeps asking the guy all those questions. The guy's like, I don't know what the fuck you're asking me this yeah. shit. And then when he finally he wins his life, he doesn't really know he does. Maybe yeah. he has a little bit of an idea, but he doesn't know how crazy the guy is. Right. And he goes, he's like, no, 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 not in your pocket. It'll get mixed with the other change. It'll just become a coin. He's like, but it is, <laughs> but it, which it is, yeah. That was. Yeah. I also so they called him for the part, and he was like, "I don't drive, I don't like guns, and I barely speak English." They're like, "Yeah, that's why we want you." <laughs> like, what? But I mean, he, he wasn't funny. Academy Award funny for it. Yeah, that's my answer every time I answer the phone. I don't drive. Yes. I don't really like guns. <laughs> I can barely speak English. <laughs> and you're a psychopath. That's so pretty, there you go. Yeah. Um. Uh. What was I going to fucking say? <laughs> this is such a shit show. I can't make balls. We're forget- <laughs> We're saying. Well, I was going to say something, but I didn't want to interrupt. Uh... Oh, why, why Why? would he not have dumped all the cash out like when he got home to check to see if there was like, that, a tracker? That was my it, first thought. Or, or something. And when we like, found a case like that, I was like, they, hasn't he seen a movie in his life? Fucking that, pour it out and check something. We never saw Fargo, apparently. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it was a. I guess we're smarter than Josh Brolin. Well, the he was. And a, then, it was a and good then case. The tractor was like on the top. It was like in the yeah, top it was like four stacks down. Yeah, but who's <laughs> just like pull look? Oh, it was right here. I mean, I guess now if we found two million dollars, we'd look for a tractor because we saw this movie. Well, I, I thought of it, and when he first grabbed it out of the truck. You know or, I, no, not the, he got it from the guy at the tree. You know what I thought? It reminded me of like the old movies where they have like a, like a radar, and it's just like a circle and a blip. And, and it's just like, bloop, oh, they're right over here. It's well, like, he motherfucker, har- that's just... He had a heartbeat sensor. It's like aliens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, he drives by, it's like, dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee. Yeah. And then it got he- slower as he drove. I'm like, that's funny, because it wasn't being slower as you came up. Yeah. But it, was, it was When he was walking through, didn't you hear him go, oh, he's got ghost. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That, that, well, I, that's my favorite scene. I can't talk about that. Okay, we'll we'll get yeah. back. We'll get back yeah. that shortly. Uh, well, is there anything you guys would change? Me personally, it would just be I would show a little bit Josh Brolin dying. Yeah, and I, then would I would fix the, the movie. movie about ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes longer. Show Josh Brolin die in that shootout, and we're good. And show us fucking Carla Jean's brains blown out all over the ceiling, I, please. I actually thought it was going to be a fake out because of that. I was waiting for. I was like, I was like, no, I don't, don't hate the movie too much. Like, he's not really going to be dead. And then it keeps going, and then. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones does Brother House, and I was like, "Well, it'd be rude to, re- okay. it'd I mean, be they, rude to reveal it." And then the you know the guy kills his wife, and I was like, "I was like, nah, I think he's probably dead." They showed him laying there, all bloody. Yeah, but I thought it was gonna be some kind of fake out, like a body double or something. I was because it just I was like, "Why would they do this?" See, it didn't bother me at all. I was like, "Oh, that's an interesting choice," but it, I, you know, it's uh, not my movie, so 
It'd be like you know, watching all of Westworld and they just shoot the man in black season three, turn him into a robot. Don't bring up Westworld, you fucking... Uh, but so what, is there anything you guys would change? I kind of wanted I, him to get I caught. Think... So like when... Oh, really? Or something. Would anybody hear something to handcuff him and take him away? No, but like when he got in the car accident, which I remembered. So like, th- I didn't remember any of this movie really. I remember the shotgun. I remember the cattle thing. Mm-hmm. But I didn't remember like who died when or whatever. What, what's the other movie that has like old men in the title or something? Oh, there's like a sequel to it. Does Good, Bad, and Ugly have a sequel? No. There was one movie like this that I I would get it this. Does but this mixed up with something name. else. There was like, and like the sequel has like the name flipped with old men. Is well, it Grumpy Old Men? Maybe. I yeah, say, grumpy I, old man, grumpier old man. Yeah, I would get that confused with this. I, I never knew. I never knew any of them were. So I wasn't sure what this was at first because I got them all mixed up. You thought this was a Walter Matthau movie? <laughs> I wasn't sure. But wow. for like uh, until watching the movie, I did, had no way to, to like make have those different in my mind. Yeah, he yelled but at me because like, of the Coen like Brother movie. Mo- I kind of like going to movies like that. I do. I, I I enjoyed doing the podcast more like this when it's yeah. my first time watching it and like it like, like yelling about it. It's yeah. more it's more fun to be in like oh John Wick three is fun. Yeah, at this point it's kind of hard for us to get a movie that neither one of us. But when you about. pick you Coen, I've seen only Coen Brother movies I've seen is the ones we've been doing podcasts on. Well, we're gonna start picking them, pal. Okay. So far, you know those brothers make pretty good movies. No, the, what, else, sure what, are, what are what are some other popular ones of theirs? Well, Raising Arizona. What's that? What's that one they did recently with um, George Clooney? And it's, it was like it seemed like it was like making a Hollywood movie. Like it was like a time piece. I can't remember. Why are you putting me on the spot? Because I remember seeing the trailer for that, and I was like, "Oh, this looks bad. No wonder I won't watch fucking Coen Brother movies." I can't. I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head for some reason. Mm. I was gonna look them up right for the podcast too because I want to start them? watching them. I'll look them up. I'll see what the Coen Brothers have made. Those yeah, fucks. Yeah, Coen Brothers. The Ra- Raising Arizona is Nicolas Cage, so you'd like that. But it's a fucking oh. goofy fucking movie. Uh, Big Lebowski. I do like You've seen Big Cage. Lebowski. Oh. Yeah, but I don't remember I like it. I, I, like can, I couldn't Lebowski. tell you anything except for nobody fucks with the Jesus. That's, the only, that's the only thing I know. You gotta remember, Donnie, shut the fuck up! Oh, I do know that part, okay. Uh, let me see. I'll, I just want their direct... Oh, oh my god, they made so many things I can't... There we go. They made 26 movies, so I'll start from the bottom. Now we're here. Uh, Skipping their shorts. Blood Simple. Never heard of it. Raising Arizona. Miller's Crossing. Barton Fink. Barton Hud Fink's Sucker good. Proxy. Oh. Fargo. Big Lebowski. Oh, Fargo and then two years later, Big Lebowski. That's a pretty good couple of years right there for them. Oh, brother, where art thou? We have that on DVD. Uh, the Man Who Wasn't There. Well, then where was he? <laughs> Intolerably Cruelty. Intolerable cruelty. Uh, Parasign people by the oh, that's a short. Uh, lady killers. Uh, oh, no country good. for old men. Lady killers is bad. Uh, burn after oh, I've seen burn after reading. I didn't know that was them. Yeah, I like burn after reading. That's one where Brad Pitt gets killed, right, in the closet or whatever. Yeah, spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, a serious man. True grit. Oh, I didn't know they did true grit. I haven't seen that. I forgot. I almost picked true grit too because uh, of Josh. I Brown. like that movie. Inside I like true grit. True grit. Lewin Davis, I think is what it says. Oh, Ballad of... Oh, I forgot about the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I started that and then I never finished it. I, I haven't seen that. That's like that's like a, so many little short movies inside one big old movie. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what... You know you've probably seen, You know the gif of James Franco that everybody puts out and it's like, oh, first time? And it's like him about to get hung? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. That's where that comes from. Mm. Uh, best scene slash quote? Um, I think my best scene was probably... One, I really like when James Josh Brolin gets the thing shot into his chest from the door. It jumps out the window. That whole lot long, oh, yeah. long ass chase scene is fun. There's a lot of lot of little ones that are really good. Like I like I like Josh Brolin just like hunting and then comes across all that shit. And then... I liked his plan when he fucking threw the thing over well, and gave the guy money, took his thing, and had the beer and all that. Yeah. The, the the one the weird thing to me. Okay. So when he is, I'm assuming I could be wrong on this, but. Like in the beginning, when he's hunting, he mm-hmm. shoots the, he shoots the whatever that is, an antelope or whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. You so then he goes. Deer. Okay, deer. <laughs> you you never see his dog again. Oh yeah, like the three legged dog is running. Yeah, you never see that again. Uh yeah. Like, I, I never, almost I almost wondered if it was his dog. Don't know it was dead. Well, that's what that's what I no like because no, like the he's, he's there like hunting for the do- like he's trying to find the deer. Because he didn't get a clean shot, so it didn't drop dead instantly. 
So you had to track it. I just thought that was his tracking dog. So did I. Yeah, I never actually thought about that at all. Never see the fucking dog ever. That never crossed my mind. Was, wasn't it a pit bull? It, it looked just like the one that was dead at that shootout. Yeah, I, but that uh, clearly isn't the one because that was been dead there for. He stumbles upon that looking for shit. Yeah, no, I almost think it was one of someone else's dog that was loose and just running away or something. Oh, could have ran away from that fight because I don't think you use a pit bull for hunting. Unless you're hunting people. Hey, Josh Perlton like, uses whatever he wants. Like, well, and you don't really use... Like, we had a lab growing up, and my dad brought it hunting, and it would retrieve birds, but it doesn't retrieve fucking deer. Would you bring Joey hunting? No. He would be the last <laughs> dog i bring hunting. See, he would want to go get the animal, but the second you went, he'd run back home. He'd, yeah. That he'd, remi- there was, shit there was one time, do you remember when I used to go to the um, the farm th- place with Brian? And yeah. He had all those horses and shit? Yeah. We were riding him one day... We had to go help a horse is like, like little what's it called a hoof? Yeah, it was st- it was stuck in this like the metal fence. So we went over there and we had to try to help it get out, but it was like real dangerous. And it, when it jumped out, it made such a loud clang. And Ross was next to us. We were like like so 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 far from where the cars are. In an instant, Ross is next to the cars. <laughs> he was next. He was poof, over there. And we were like, holy shit! That's funny. Yeah, he was quite the pussy too. Yeah. But it, it was so quick. That was also the time that the horse stood up next to the canal and I was on its back and I was hanging on for dear life. And Brian's like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you if that happens, just hang on. And I was so scared. But you didn't think someone would have to tell you to hang on. Well, no, he didn't. I did. Yeah. But just like when I fall off bikes, I hang on too. Except you're not supposed to hang on when you fall off a bike. You're supposed to let go because hanging on can get you more hurt. Like I, how I hit my head and passed out. Yeah. I forgot how to say North Dakota. No, yeah, now I say North Dakota. <laughs> um... Because uh, the, the, there's a lot of the movie that has good scenes to me. I can think of a good quote. My my favorite scene is like when he checks into that hotel and he hears him shoot the night clerk, and then he he hears him coming up the stairs. So he grabs a shotgun, sits on the bed, and then he like shuts the light off so he can see underneath the door. Uh, and then the and then guy goes see, and turns off the light in the hallway. And then Javier Bardem shuts the light off in the doorway, so it's like, oh, it's a fucking fair game now. Yeah, that 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 whole part is, is it, mine too. That, I was gonna say that led, led into what you said, right? Yeah, that's, but that's I, I just yeah. didn't include no, that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, exactly. the whole thing. It's that was such a really good scene. I liked it because the whole time everyone's like thinking. Yeah, like, I also I really like before that when he's at the first motel or whatever. And I liked how intricate it was him putting the money thing into the air vent. Mm-hmm. And then he thinks that he's being very paranoid and some people are looking for him and all that. So then uh, he goes and gets another he, room. He was a little ahead of him at that point. Yeah. yeah. So then he's pulling it out as Harvey Bardem busts in the room and kills other people thinking it's you know him yeah. because of the money thing and all that. He's a little loose and with the trigger. pulls it next to him. Yeah, really. Yeah. But that whole part was really fun too. Just because yeah. it was just seeing them like try to outsmart each other but also not really knowing about each other yet. I guess if you go back to something where you want to change, I might change that Woody Harrelson's character was does something cool. Cause like yeah, I would give him was, a good scene. Because all he did was really talk and like it, he, that. That smart. right here would be would be the holy shit that bitches in this movie like surprise cameo because it it is almost a cameo with a scene because he doesn't do much. Yeah, kinda. I mean, like, if you think about it, he pretty much has two scenes. He goes to the hospital. Oh, well. He has that one scene where he goes to see the guy from like Dodgeball and yeah, Barry. Yeah. Steven Root. And then he, and then he goes to the hospital and then you see him in the room where he gets killed. And that, that's it. Well, very briefly, he finds the money. He has like a little scene oh, where he's, yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. looking around and finds the money yeah. for like two seconds. And then and then yeah. on the way from there, I did like that when he's walking up the stairs though from the guy, from Harvard or Bradham, And he like kind of turns around and he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Uh, surprise cameo. The only one I can think of is Rudy Harrison. No one else really surprised me. No one else surprised me. So, I, maybe you could look this up real quick. I I forgot to look it up, but I think the wife is Steve Buscemi's wife in Barack Empire for a while. But she's like... Who, uh, Josh Brolin's wife? Yeah. What's her name? Carlo, Carlo, Carla Jean or yeah. something like that. I think it is Carla Jean. Carla Jean. Which is weird, because she, she she's like a thick Irish accent. In I, did, I did really like her part at the end when she calls Tommy Lee Jones and she's like... Um, just make sure it's you going for him, Shagriff. And he's like, I will. She, I liked her in this. Usually yeah. usually that kind of character you don't like because they're just annoying. Yeah. Her mom was a bitch, though. Yeah, her mom was real annoying. Until I got them caught. Uh, They've never seen a Mexican oh. in a suit before. <laughs> yeah. It, it's cause I, I hate how IMDb loads. It said she's in Black Mirror. Oh, oh right. Right. She's in one episode of Black Mirror. Oh, she's in Boardwalk Empire a lot. Yeah, okay, that was the uh, that that for me. I had so no it's idea. fifty six episodes she's in. Jesus, she most... has an affair with uh, Daredevil. 
Oh, I forgot Charlie Cox is in that, huh? Yeah, he was my favorite character for a little while. Well, second favorite. And then they kill him and put him in a box and send him back. Did they ever go, what's in the box? No, they found out right away when they opened it. Mm. Uh, what's in the box? Best performance. Uh, that's kind of tough. I kind of feel like Harvard Bear Dem, but everyone in this is pretty good. I would, I, I, I would, but, have to, you would have to give it to Javier Bardem. But, if but, you ask me. Yeah, I think, I think he did. Yeah, I mean, amazing. Isn't I it? think, like, if he was gonna fight Tommy Lee Jones, I'm rooting for Tommy Lee Jones, but his act, his acting was really good. I mean, yeah. he won an yeah, Academy I, Award. I, think, uh, I, I mean, just to portray that, like, he's a fucking nutbag. Yeah, was, like, in no facial expressions, like, even keel doesn't raise his voice. Like even when he's like chasing uh, Josh Brolin, like Thought after the, Amy. when he jumps out the window, <laughs> like he's he he just he's like walking, he's not running, he's not like yeah, it was it was almost it was almost like he's like Jason Voorhees or Michael pace. Myers or something yeah, going after him. Kinda, yeah, kinda. everything's done at his pace. Like I, I I have no doubt I'm gonna get you. I liked too how it just shows like how cocky he is too in a way. Where he, like when Josh Brolin gets the jump on him, he drops a shotgun, he gets shot in the leg a little bit, jumps behind the car, and then gets away. And then after that, he's just like, yeah, I don't even need my shotgun. And he go and to get better, he just gets a little cloth, you know, puts it oh, in the yeah. car, dips in the gasoline, does that. I'm just gonna blow up this car just so I can get some medicine real quick. And then goes in the room, puts a tarp down, fixes his leg. Like he's like, yeah, this is nothing. And then I'll, and then I'll go back on the hunt for him. I that forgot. was pretty I, fucking gnarly. That gunshot wound. Yeah, yeah. It was doctor. I forgot about that. Getting in there, getting the little like pellets uh, out. I did like that. I, I forgot. And it shows that he's done it before because he knew what to get and everything. Yeah. How many cars do you think he's blowing up for that? Seven. Wow. Uh, Seven, do you think there could be a sequel? Still, no country for old men. I mean, he's still alive. There yeah, you could definitely. easy. You could he's easily do one about him still killing. Like this, the next person he goes after. And it's nineteen eighty, so like, you could just yeah. make it through now. Make him actually an old could man. You, could you imagine if they came out with like one now? I mean, twenty whatever. Could be a young punk killing him. Can I? I feel like the action in it now because it's already good in this. I feel like it would you just be get, like outstanding. Mm-hmm. You could get Javier Bardem and then like Jared Leto on the other side. That'd be interesting. Like the Joker. I feel like I feel like Jared no. Leto would try to out crazy him, but Javier Bardem's just really good at that. Yeah. And, and then put and then get Joaquin Phoenix in there. <laughs> just a Joker off. You know who I'd get? Charlie Day. Just kidding. Oh, that'd be kind of fun. That'd be cool to see him try to act like that. That'd be dope. I mean, it was just you, that's the first crazy person that popped in my head. I'd put Charlie Sheen. Hey, just give him. Never mind. Um, did we learn anything? Yeah, we learned that Jerome likes mm. Coen Brother movies. Kind of. Kind of. Depends. Not, yeah. not not to get involved with uh, like uh, drug deals. I learned that. if I find a briefcase full of money, I'm I'm pouring out the bag there, getting a new bag, leaving the briefcase where it's at. Joey, we're filming a podcast. Hold on, pal. Oh, is he scratching? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I learned get a new bag, get your own bag that you carry the money in, and you'll be good. Yeah. Check check the dollar bills, you know, see if there's any trackers in it. I mean, because if he just think about it, he he checks it if he checks it at the at his trailer and yeah, but, leaves the tracker there. He doesn't know it. Yeah, free. he's good. He's he's scot free. That's it's 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 hindsight though because like he doesn't yeah, I understand. he doesn't he doesn't know that it's it, that there's such a thing. So like, but, yeah, but now, but for how bright he is about all the other shit, he should expect but, that a drug deal with all that heroin or whatever yeah. they're selling, that he should expect there's gonna be some kind of something in it, maybe. Because like, because that, that that's what he that's what he tells. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, Carl fucking Woody Harrelson. Oh. He goes, I know what it is. Or he's like, you know, he's like, I know what it is. He's like, it had a tracker. He didn't say tracker, but he goes, I know. He goes, I know what it is. I think it was a little. Yeah, but my point is, is like he. he 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 didn't expect it to be in there, but then when the guy keeps showing up, then he's like, "There's no fucking way." That's when he looked for it. Yeah, he just didn't yeah. expect it to be in with drug dealers. He didn't think they were that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Although to be fair, if I was so, I thought they were coming and they somehow found the hotel I was at. My you first thought, leave. my first thought would be that there's a tracker in the thing. Not go to a new place, sit down, think Pick- for a little bit, and then look for a tracker. I would look for it at the place because then you can leave it at that motel in the little air vent. Get the fuck out of town. I would have put it on a fucking taxi or something. I would have put it on a mule and slap it on the ass and it's running down. Not a donkey? No, a mule. Do you know the difference? Yeah. Okay. I don't believe you. Hmm? We'll never know. Any questions before we get into our next movie? 
No questions here, Your Honor. Mm. My question is to you, Cullen Brothers. Did, why'd, I, you, why'd you end it this way? I have a question. Did Did you think the little boy at the end was a prick? The one that kept, hey, mister, your arm, your bone's sticking out of your arm. I thought the friend was a prick. He, 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 <laughs> my friend's like, you still have a shirt. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't I thought get... he was a little... Oh, go ahead. I, I thought he was a little retarded. <laughs> <coughs> Wait. So which, which one? The, the one, one, the one that gave him the shirt, or no, the, the other one, one who kept saying, "Mister, you know you got your bone sticking out of your arm." I was, I thought Harvey there, Harvey Air Bardem was gonna shoot him or kill him. Or I something. was, I was actually hoping I was like, this could redeem the movie if he shoots two kids in the street right here, <laughs> and then he didn't. But he wasn't gonna shoot the kid that helped him. Yeah, yeah. shoot his, just shoot his annoying friend. He doesn't need that guy. And then, well, I say, hey, you give him his, your your shirt. So then the other friend's like, yeah, cause, "Well, cause I'm a little had, boy. Why that, are you interesting me?" And then just. Poof, that simple. Well, and then the, the the kid who didn't give him the shirt was like, half of that's mine. He's like, fuck you. Like, yeah, I yeah. yeah you shirt. suck on my nuts if you want some of this cash, bro. Well, and that's why I was like, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck yeah. him right in his cornhole. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all ready to know our next movie? I got a feeling it's Natural Not Killers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you what movie got zero votes. JF uh-huh. mo fucking K. K. I figured. I got a feeling Taylor was trying to be nice and vote for me. I know we get six votes, so. Zero JFK, seventeen percent Batman Forever, eighty three percent Natural Not Killers. Perfect. So we're watching Natural Not Ooh. Killers. All right, I'll have to find that. I don't know where it's. We have it on DVD. Is that streaming uh, anywhere? Yeah, I'm gonna look if it's streaming. We've had a good run. I mean, our, our past I, I, two I think movies it's are on streaming. Stars. I think it's on Stars. Oh, by the I way, don't have, I don't bad time to tell you. I think I accidentally locked us out of our Directv account, so you have to call a number to undo it. Because well, I was trying to log into Stars and it wouldn't let me. Fucking Christ. I don't know if it was me or not, but I tried to log. I tried logging in Showtime like a week ago, and it wouldn't let me. And I was like, well, "I don't know what's going on." So then I tried logging in <laughs> Stars, and it said our account's been locked. So I don't know if it was me or not, but now's a good time to let you know. This on motherfucker podcast. bitches about fucking passwords uh, all the time, and then doesn't it, remember it, it, one. It, it, I knew it. It just. On, it, it, I was putting it in right. To, to be to be fair, mm-hmm. when I put in a Showtime, I text Taylor because I was like, I thought this is the right password, and then what she sent me was so it already wasn't working when I was trying it on Showtime. Showtime is just weird. Sometimes so it could have just been fucked up and burned our account, anyways. But I was putting in the right password. I'm not calling. It's on. It's on stars. Uh, oh, it says it's on Hulu as well. Oh, okay. It says it's on Hulu and Amazon as well, according to Google. Good, because I don't. I don't have. uh... But tell you, you oh, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't load it on Hulu right here. So it does. It does. It says open in Prime Video app. Hold on, let me look. Oh, natural. Bar- oh, it says you can watch it on Hulu if you have stars. You can connect it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, and you can rent it on Amazon Prime for three ninety nine if you have Amazon Prime. Yeah. So you could you could log into our stars if Nick on on. Oh, you're logged in on your phone. I yeah. Ah uh, uh, well, I need your, you to call that number so I can uh, watch it too. Speaking of your uh, all your path, I don't use any of your shit, so. He's like, so it wasn't I, me that locked you guys out. I swear. It, it, it really wasn't because I haven't used no, any it, of it. It was probably it was probably me or Macy. To be fair. Yeah. Uh, it's it, what Stars is one of those ones that logs you out though. If you don't, and we don't use it as much as like the well, others. We just used it the other night. That's why I thought it'd be fine. And then I, I tried to. Wa- I wanted to watch American Gods again. I wanted to because the new season counts. I was like, oh, I'll finally get caught up. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I, I have a DVD. I have a DVD player yeah. in here now. I have a DVR in here now. Um. Yeah, I, I fucked it up. I think I don't know. Um, this, but I wanted to, I should have said this in the beginning, but I didn't. This podcast will be out late because I'm going to go get a puppy I'm driving to Montana. Don't you? So they're getting two puppies. I said there's one boy yeah. and one girl. We're getting two French bulldogs. So name one Hannah and one Montana. And or, or Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal and Lecter. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Now Taylor wants to name hers, uh, Gregory. I thought it was Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know. Are you going to? Are you gonna name yours Button? That's what Nick said. But mine's a girl. Nick, Taylor's getting the boy. I'm getting the girl. You can name oh, it all about the all about the. But can you imagine or, that? Can you imagine your dog was missing? And you're walking around town. All about the all about the. But if it was missing yours. with the other one, what would you say? Benjamins. <laughs> but say them together, baby. All about the Benjamins. <laughs> <laughs> you can name your Stella. Oh, Stella. What's what's the girl's name in uh, Rocky? Adrian. I can name it Adrian. Adrian. So every time I'm looking for, her, I can just start talking like Rocky. Adrian's also. I don't know mean, why in my head I'm always looking for my dog. <laughs> what? What? Sopranos. What do you mean? Start talking like Rocky. What do you mean? 
Open your eyes. Open your eyes, you fucking little cocksucker. Open your eyes. Yes, tell hey, me. Are you going to? Uh, are you going to uh, record the trip and make a vlog about it? Or oh, I could. I didn't even think about that. And just do one what vlog the every three years. Fuck. Yeah, I should. Yeah, you should. I mean, you're making a trip across the country. That's true. And go get some. So this could be my last podcast, technically, because I could get murdered by this lady. It's true. We're, finding, we're, get, we're getting a meat spot. So if I go missing, find that lady in Montana. Where? Hmm. Let, 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 let me just ask this. Where did you stumble across? My mother found them on Craigslist. Uh-huh. Why is she looking at puppies? Well, because she wanted, she wanted to get Taylor a French Bulldog for her birthday. But, uh-huh. the, but then she kept finding people that were selling two. So then she was like, oh, I'll get, you, I'll get Taylor one for her birthday, and I'll get you an early birthday present. Did you want a French okay. Bulldog for your birthday? I would obviously. I would, I would take one, yeah, sure. Okay. Hundred percent. I'm asking. I mean, because it do be that, or they should give me a T-shirt. So. Last time they got Taylor a pet for her birthday, it ended up being Phoebe. Yeah, I know. But these are French. These are little, t- little time for. We'll get balls. her a pig, and I was like, "Why are we getting a fucking pig?" And now I'm the only one who likes her. Frozen like Rosen. Oh, uh, Hess is fr- Hess is frozen, and frozen. It, li- it looks like he's getting a huge dick in his ass. <laughs> Kinda, a little bit. <laughs> like he's just like, mm, he, fuck. He's Al Rosen. He's over there. You ain't wanting to fuck with me, baby. Kiss my He's kind of trying to make a little sexy face. Oh, no, this is Hess right now. You gotta try this pole. <laughs> the best thing is he can't see me either. Okay, so she's a dog. That'll be me when I get mine. Our internet connection is unstable. Well, since Hess is gone, we'll see you guys next week for uh, natural not killers. One, one last thing. You don't have to go over them. How many movies you got? Oh fuck! I completely forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that real quick. Okay. Well, well, Hess is gone. Thank you for reminding me. I just want to know if I got your little ass. You probably did, because I didn't watch that many. Uh, I have watched 114 movies this year. Jesus fucking Christ, you're still too ahead of me. How? I don't know. I'm on 112. Yeah, I'll, I'll read you what I got real quick. I, don't, I won't go into detail. Okay. I watched Ant-Man, Zack Snyder's... Dr- oh, Zoom ended. Hold on one second. Uh, I watched Ant-Man, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Let the Right One In, the foreign one, which was pretty bad to be honest. Oh, our internet just went out, I think, and it just told me to use um, cellular data. Yeah, our internet just went out. Perfect. Uh, 21 Jump Street, The Roast of James Franco, uh, Jay and Silent Bob get all, and Kevin Smith, Silent But Deadly. Uh, I watched, I don't remember where I left off, uh, I Deadpool, right? As I Zodiac, Tombstone, Ant Man, Mission Impossible Two, Den of Thieves, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, and Chips. Oh, Den of Thieves, you should watch. It's fucking awesome. That sounds really familiar. What is that? It's it, Fifty Cent has a little little part in it. Uh, Gerard Butler's in it. He's a cop. They they rob banks. Ice Cube's son's in it. Mm-hmm. it was, I I like. It's a typical bank robber a- action movie. Mm-hmm. Remember the guy that's he's in the wire, but he also I think he like dated the girl in Weeds like later in in, in um later on in Weeds like in the later seasons. Is he Mexican? No, he's white. He usually sometimes he plays like a Russian guy, but he's not Russian. I'm not sure. Well, he at one point Here, he, I'll, I'll look up. Oh, I can't. The internet's out. Yeah. Um. He, at one point he goes, "All right, hand me the M60." Oh, and you can just imagine at that point. So, uh, I, the only thing I want to talk about that I watched is I watched Zack Snyder's Justice League, mm-hmm. and I, I, I going into it, I wasn't too excited. Like I was like I'm, I was more interested in what, what the difference is going to be, but right. I, I, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm gonna watch it the compared to especially watching the I watched the original one beforehand, mm-hmm. 2017 one, dramatically different, so much better. And the nightmare scene at the end with Jared, you finally get to see Joker and Batman together in this universe. It's very fun, but I, but I enjoyed it. Uh, okay, internet's gone, so now it's exporting our Zoom thing. Good, at least we have the video pass. But yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm not going to say it's the best DC movie ever, but I'm not going to say it's the worst, because uh, obviously Wonder Woman 84 has that. <laughs> but uh, I, I really enjoyed it. it I, I know people get mad at the aspect ratio, but I saw it past that pretty quickly in four hours. But honestly, it feels like you're just binging a series. If you're a kid watching four episodes of a show in a row, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it eventually. I I thought about starting it today, but I, I didn't. And watch what it. helps too is they, it's in chapters, so it'll be like one. It's like no, don't try this Batman or something. But so it's like it's like uh, six chapters in an epilogue, so it'll go to her screen. She'll be like, oh, I can pause it here, perfect. Oh, so that's, that's it kind of cool. sets you up good for that. That's cool. Well, I apparently entered back, and I'm getting all the texts from everybody that was texting me what's going on beforehand. Uh, so let's just wrap this up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, uh, go watch <laughs> Natural Not Killers next week. <laughs> <laughs>